first, we're heading to the village of Ironside in Cumbria, who are gearing up for a Christmas celebration with a difference. For the past nine months, residents have been hosting 50 Ukrainian refugees, and they are determined to make their first Christmas in the UK one to remember. Красиво? Красиво. Очень. Beautiful. Oh. Local resident Anna Gost was one of the first to host a Ukrainian family, and she inspired her neighbours to take in refugees too. We have uh, Katerina, her mum Ksenia, and her grandmother Angelina, who's just had her 84th birthday, and is, yeah, they, they feel like family. In terms of the move, they settled in really quickly. I feel very proud of our community. It's been an incredible response. Just really privileged to have met some amazing people and made a bit of a difference. It's been a joy to have them. The family moved in with Anna and Tony in May. I miss home, uh, but I feel happy here. Uh, I like the place where we live, Ironside, and it's very beautiful here and people are very kind. We are safe here and we don't want to leave, at least at the moment. Now it's not the time to come back. Katerina and her mum have been helping to support themselves by working in a local guest house and by teaching English to other refugees. But today they're making some festive treats that bring together Ukrainian and British traditions. It's a Christmas party and uh, Ukrainians and English people, they all uh, contribute. I think not all uh, Ukrainian food is good for British people, so we are <laughs> I hope that uh, if British people try it, they will like it. Despite the warm welcome here, thoughts are never far from home. Victoria, her daughter Kira, and her mother in law were forced to flee after Victoria's home was destroyed. Victoria's husband is still in Ukraine and is part of the war effort. It was so scary situation in Ukraine uh, because uh, the bomb may be uh, falling down in any places that you may be and it's very, very, very hot. It will be our first Christmas away from Ukraine. Uh, it will be interesting to, uh, to get this experience with the British people and Ukrainian people. We are so excited. With just a few hours to go before the party, everyone is mucking in to set the table and finish the decorating. And for Larissa, it's especially exciting because she is leading the carol singing. I have a butterfly in my stomach, but I think all will be good. <laughs> But first, there's the all-important switching on of the Christmas tree lights. This year, that honour goes to Angelina and Kira, the oldest and youngest Ukrainian guests. Three, two, one, okay. go! Now that the lights are on, it's time for these new friends to celebrate together. With Oksana and Larissa leading the singing, the room is full of song. It was absolutely gorgeous. Santa came in time and we are so thankful for all people. It's amazing how they've settled in. It's wonderful, really. They've just brought absolute joy into our lives. Lots Very of food, cool. <laughs> fun, yeah, good music. We've had um, connections between people that we would never have met, we would never, our paths would not have crossed, so it's been very special, actually. Now, oh, a very Merry Christmas to everybody in Armside and all the Ukrainian refugees here in the UK. That was lovely. Yeah, very special. It is.